Ivy Road uses Snapchat to try to meet up for a minor with sex, and that is according to the Fairfield Township Police Department. So the victim in this case ended up reaching out to police about the inappropriate message exchange. Ken Brown spoke with officers about how they were able to make an arrest. 25 years old, sitting in a shopping center parking lot, and police say Felix Natividad Garcia is waiting to meet a 15-year-old girl. We went out there and investigated further. Eventually, the male, the 25-year-old male, agreed to meet the 15-year-old female at Bridgewater Falls Shopping Center, uh, where he showed up, and we placed him under arrest. Get out! 687, one at gunpoint. One hand, slowly. Please say this is Garcia being placed in handcuffs, and he was the man using Snapchat to try and meet up with the teenage girl. He knew. Um, he even communicated with the juvenile female that he knew he'd be in a lot of trouble if he got caught. So he was quite aware of what he was doing. Um, he also, during the interview at the police department later on, admitted he knew what he was doing. Fairfield Township Police say this happens more often than you would think. Teens getting on social media apps, getting solicited for sex or other inappropriate requests, and this isn't limited to Snapchat users. That and Instagram right now, um, and a lot of the um, gaming apps, Discord is horrible. There's a lot of back rooms where a lot of exchanging of obscene material, um, child pornography and things like that, that seem to occur. Um, they'll introduce themselves and groom a, a kid online and get them to go to one of these side rooms and either get them to send them photographs or send the kids photographs or videos. So it seems to be a big trend right now. Garcia was arrested on felony charges for importuning and unlawful sexual conduct with a minor. That was Ken Brown reporting the Fairfield Police Department has seized his phone. They're getting a search warrant. They're going to go through all the materials on that phone. And he is right now locked up in the Butler County Jail.